When are we going? Let's just go, even if it's just to buy like Babe! What's wrong with you? Wake up! Babe! Babe! Are, are you feeling? Adamu! Adamu! Babe! What's wrong with you? blood from her mouth and her nose and before I knew it she collapsed and passed out yes doctor my name is Eunice Angela has been my best friend doctor she is my life if there's anything wrong with Angela please tell me tell us do not hide anything from us doctor please please oh her condition is not a good one but there is a solution to it she has a kidney failure what? Kidney failure? Yes. But how? Wait, um, wait, doctor, wait a minute. Just wait a minute. She needs... Doctor, wait! Kidney what? She has a kidney failure. Kidney failure? No, doctor, it's not true. Something is wrong somewhere. Angela that I know. Angela doesn't drink or smoke. She lives a healthy lifestyle. Doctor, it's not true. Wait, 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 doctor. I think and I know that kidney failure is for those that drink and smoke, not Angela. Doctor, Don't something is wrong me. somewhere. Check it very well, doctor. Check it. There are many people out there that smoke and drink and they will experience heart failure. Sometimes it is genetics. Doctor, please. Is there nothing you can do? I love her so much. I cannot live without her. She's the air that I breathe. She means everything to me. Please, I can afford to lose her now. Please. Her kidney is damaged beyond repair. What she needs right now is a donor. If we see someone that can donate one kidney, surgery will commence. Doctor, please, is there nothing you can do? Maybe, maybe possibly a drug or maybe injection. Just to revive her kidney, please. Please, please doctor. Mr. Man, please. the only thing she needs right now is a donut. If we see a donut and we conduct a text on the person, and if the kidney matches hers, then surgery will take place. That is what okay, I'm saying. Okay, fine, doctor. Doctor, no problem. I am ready to donate my own kidney. Come and take me to the lab. Come, come and run the test. What? Yes, take me to the lab. If my own kidney matches hers, fine, I will donate. I need to save Angela. She's my life. I cannot live without Angela. Please, don't talk to me. You are shouting in my office. You are 
are shouting. I'm sorry. You need to relax. <laughs> if you say so, relax. You want to donate your kidney to her? Say that what you have been doing. If you say so, we will take you to the lab, conduct some tests on you, and if your kidney matches her, then surgery will come in. Good, doctor, I am ready. Let's go to the lab. I am ready. Please, doctor, get up. Let's go, please. Doctor, please, please go! Thank you, Doctor. Please, can we go, please? And what nonsense suggestion are you making? If I was your brother, would you have allowed me to donate my kidney to her simply because I want to get married to her? Oh, Philip. But why didn't you stop me? Why you see me going in there to see if I can help her? Look at you! Well, I'm not here to banter words with you. All I'm begging you is follow the doctor, go in there, who knows if your kidney will match. And what if my kidney works? What if my kidney matches hers? Listen, let me tell you, that test is of no use. Because I'm not willing and ready to give my kidney to anybody. I'm not ready to die young, do you hear me? Really? Philip, I said, really? I thought you said you loved Angela. Yes, I said I love her. But I never said I was ready to die for her. Did I tell you I was ready to die for her? Let me tell you, Philip. There is something you need to know. Love is all about sacrifice. Going to our separate ways to make our partners happy. Get in that! Get it! Get it! Just get it! Look, let me tell you something. I don't want to. I don't want to talk much. Just submit yourself to the doctor. Besides, who told you you were going to die? Are you the first person to donate, donate your kidney for a woman? Are you the first? I have seen that you're very wicked. And you're a very selfish person. I have seen person. you're very, very wicked. I've seen you're very wicked. I don't have time to banter words with you, okay? What nonsense. Philip! Philip, you're wicked! You are so selfish! I have never seen a man like you! Just look at this idiot! Thank God, you're weak. What are you doing here? What happened? You need to calm down. You passed out. What? But don't panic. The doctor said you are going to be fine. That your sickness has solution. Who passed out? What sickness are you talking about? What did the doctor say is wrong with me? Just you need to relax for now. Please just calm down. <sighs> just calm down. Please. Where's my man? Where's my love? Where's Philly? Oh, you're awake. And how are you doing? Oh, baby. I, I don't know. I feel better. I don't know. What's happening? How did I get here? You have a kidney failure. Yes. The doctor diagnosed you that your kidney had failed. Philip! What is wrong with you? Must you say it like that? I was here before you. If anybody should break this news, I should have been the one to do that, not you. You met me here. I was waiting for the doctor to come and break the news professionally. What is wrong with you, Miss? <sighs> what is there to hide? What is, it's not better you tell her so that she's not making plans for her funeral. God forbid. It is you and your generation that are going to die. Not my friend Angela. You see, my problem with you is that you're not being factual with it. You're not being factual with the, with, with the real truth. Tell her the truth. It may be hard to talk, but tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Oh, please. What is wrong with you? Is that the way to talk to someone that you say is dying? Someone you, you, you said you love? Someone that is being diagnosed of kidney failure? Philip, you're wicked! Oh, my love, that was too harsh. You would have looked for a better way to tell me this. At least. I know I, I'm, I'm going to die. You're not going to die! You're not supposed to say it to the story, you know. See, Angela, I'm very sorry I had to use the word that you're dying. But it's better you know the truth. It's better you know the truth so that you start making plans like maybe you have inheritance to share and other things. So you start making plans and not cause problem for anybody. Hmm? Philip, can you stop? Please, if you do not have any better thing to say, you better leave. You are not, you are not making things easy, but you are worsting the whole situation here. Please, please go! go. The problem with you is that you are not being factual. You are just wicked! You are not being factual with the truth. Please, you people should stop talking this thing. What is wrong with you? Look at you! Yeah, this is fine. I know. So I am going to die. Look, mark my words. Believe me, 
I am your friend. Don't mind this idiot. The doctor said your sickness has solution and it's curable. Don't worry, you are going to be fine. I assure you, take my words. Trust me, I will make sure that you will get better, please. How can you do that? Don't worry. Angela, please stop crying. You are not the first to go through this condition. I tell you, stop crying. You will surely get it done and everything will be fine again. Please. Eunice, how can I stop crying? Tell me how. Eunice, what are you saying? Today was supposed to be the happiest day of my life, but it turns out to be the worst day of my life. How can I be diagnosed of kidney failure? Few minutes after my engagement, what kind of bad luck is this? What kind of bad luck is this? What? What have I done to deserve this? What? What? Sweetheart, it is not a bad luck. God is on your side. You, you'll be fine again. Trust me. Eunice, can you just tell me the truth? Tell me the truth. Look at me and tell me the truth. Tell me I'm gonna die soon. No. Yes, that's what I No, said. you're going to die. That's doctor what? said you are going to be fine again. Trust me. Trust the doctor. You, you're not going to die. Eunice, stop standing this way. And you, Philip. Why are you not saying anything? Say something now. She has been crying since then in the hospital. Say something. And what do you want me to say? Romantic. What exactly do you want me to say? See, you know what? I have a whole lot in my head. And this is the least thing that will have to occupy my head. You hear me? Philip, this is Angela. Where are you going to? We get man. Where, where, where is Philip going? Don't worry. But where, where is he going? <laughs> Angela, please for now forget about him. Forget about him. About you. You know I really wanted to marry you. Oh babe, um no, come on. What's that? Why why are you making use of past tense? You loved me, you cared for me, you wanted. I don't understand. Why is everything sounding like past, past, past? Angela, I know you're a good, very good woman. But the fact is that I can't marry a woman with a damaged kidney. You understand? It's it's so risky, you know. I can't afford to do that. What are you in waiting? Why are you sounding this way? This whole thing is not my fault. Angela, you know I'm the only child of my parents. And I can't afford to risk my life giving you my kidney. Even if I don't die in the operation, I possibly would die of the complications that comes with the with donating my kidney to you. And I can't do that. Babe, why are you full of negative energy? Just look at what you're telling me. It's barely 24 hours that you said you wanted to spend the rest of your life with me. And now you're telling me this. You don't, you don't even want me to calm my nerves. You don't even want to think about how I'm going to feel. See, babe, you should try to understand. I'm the only son of my parents. And if anything should happen to me now, my parents' lineage is gone. And I can afford to risk that. If you love me, you will definitely understand my situation right now. No, you are the one who is supposed to understand me right now. Oh God. If you watch, I can't, I can't really react, I can't shout, I can't talk because I'm down. I'm traumatized. I am, I, am, I am devastated. I'm speechless. I'm dumbfounded. And the least I expected is what you're doing right now. I don't even have strength. But please, I want to plead with you for something. Can you just stay by me? I know you're going to move on with your life. I'm not going to tie you down. 
how big do you want to accept my fate of leaving this planet Earth? But just be by my side for the sake of love. Don't give me your kidney. I don't want it. And what's the point? I, at least for you to be around me for the meantime before I leave this earth. But not just you telling me all this. The only thing I get from all these things you're trying to say is that you... Do you, do you want to break up? See, you know I'm not getting younger. You know I have to get married very soon. And if I'm not going to get married to you, then what am I doing with you? What am I doing with you? It's total time wasted for you and for me. Did you plan this before? I want to know, did you plan this before? Because you're saying it like you're just reciting it. We just found out about this. And you don't even care how I'm feeling right now. What kind of a human are you? What? I see you're not ready to understand me. But I'm sorry, this relationship is over. I'm sorry. I can't just... Philip! Please, I'm sorry I have to leave now. Philip, no, I'm you sorry. can't do this to me. Not now. Philip! I need to leave both of you to discuss. Yeah. Why? How? Why? Yes. Because he's not my visitor. He doesn't come for me. For you. Anyways, I'm leaving. Let me go play my game. Hi, Angela. Hi. Well, I don't need a prophet to tell me or to prophesy to me that I am not needed here by you. Uh, by your gesture. But I don't care because I know this is not who you are. I know that you are a very, very warm-hearted individual. You are only reacting this way as a result of what men must have done to you. I understand. I will never hold it against you, your actions or your treatment towards me. I understand that. Because people you trusted, people that you gave everything to, betrayed you. And now you are reacting as a result of that. I understand. Trust me. Are you here to return my stuff or to preach to me? Both. I'm here to return your phone. And I am here to also tell you that life is not that difficult. Life is very simple when we understand the arithmetics. But you know what? As time goes on, someday, I will tell you the story, the sad story about my life and how people have also treated me. This is your point. But I tell you, you see, anger is this sad punishment that we give to ourselves as a result of people's reaction or actions towards us. It's like, you know, 
holding a charcoal in anger, not knowing that a charcoal is dangerous and is burning our hands. And we are looking at those people that have hurt us with the intentions of throwing the charcoal back to them to get them hurt. Not knowing that we are hurting ourselves because we are holding a charcoal that is burning our hands. I leave you with those words. Good night. Good day. Thanks for returning there. I can't stop thinking of her. Something tells me I am destined to save her. I feel this urge to give her a great life full of happiness and genuine love. My mind keeps telling me that I'm assigned to do this. How do I get her trust? How do I get her to trust me? My mind has been restless. I can no longer sleep without thinking of her. I can't even concentrate with my police work. What is love turning me into? What is love really turning me into? Mr. Marshall, are you sure you're ready to do what you just told me? Doc, I'm super ready. I wouldn't have been on your desk this moment if I had not convinced myself if I wasn't ready for you. I heard about the situation that your hospital is the hospital that uh, she's been treated that diagnosed her of the kidney failure. When I came, I went to the reception, called her name, they directed me to your desk. Yeah, you're right, Mr. Marsha. She was here a few weeks ago and a lab test was conducted on her. And the result shows that she has kidney failure. And ever since then, she has been looking for a donor. She hasn't seen one. But since you're here to donate one of your kidneys to her, we have to run a text on you to check if your kidney is in good conditions and if it matches hers. Then I will call her and tell her not to worry that we have seen a donor. Oh, perfect. I am ready for the theater. Um, <laughs> let me ask you, have you told her that you want to do this for her? No. I have not told her. I am just an ordinary citizen that wants to help, that wants to answer for a cry for help. I just want to save her life. If my kidney matches hers, why not? Since I can survive with one. Wow. wow. This is strange. It's a good one. But first, like I said, a test will be conducted on you if your kidney is in order and matches hers, I think we will, we will commence the surgery. But I wonder how she will feel when I will break the news to her that the person that is donating the kidney doesn't want his identity to be revealed. Keep it at that. Please, do not reveal my identity to her or to anyone. Let it come as a shock and as a surprise. Please, no matter the persuasion, the, you know, women, you guys have this emotional attachment to things. Please do not, I beg you, doctor, patient, confidentiality. Do not reveal my identity to her no matter the pressure no matter the persuasion you know women let her not prick your emotions that you will spill 
I don't want her to know who you're dating. Please, please, please. It's okay.